What's up guys, it's Jay, and I'm doing a quick video here. I'm going to show you how to ship uh, books for Amazon, eBay, or any other kind of similar uh, online selling service. Um, also, it's really good for shipping any kind of flat product, CDs, DVDs, video games. Um, it Basically, like I said, anything that's flat. You, you can uh, wrap it up in a corrugated cardboard. Uh, I use a A flute. I used to purchase from uh, Amazon, but Amazon's cost way too much nowadays now I buy from staples um, it's uh, I believe a 12 inch by a 250 foot roll of corrugated cardboard which I'll show you here in a second but uh, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to tape the corrugated cardboard to the product and then you're gonna wrap it up they call this book burrito style um, so what you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to cover the product in some kind of uh, uh, I use a plastic wrap some kind of film or something or other to, uh, to keep the tape from actually touching the product but allowing it to attach to the cardboard so so I got anima here for you anime fans out there you may or may not know about it you take uh, take some plastic film it's all bunched up just make sure you got it decently covered fold it up you've got your book completely covered in plastic film you take your tape drop just a little tiny little tiny strip and uh, I'm gonna go grab the corrugated cardboard here to show you <clears throat> this is your roll of corrugated cardboard this is a flute um, it'll come in a much bigger roll than this if you purchase it. This is about halfway through of a roll. What you're going to do is, uh, let's see how would be the best way to show y'all. Something like this. Alright. You got your piece of tape. You're going to You're going to start rolling your book like that. Of course, like I said, you're going to attach the cardboard to the product just so it doesn't move around. Take your piece of tape, lay it across, and you roll one whole time around, roll two whole times around. And you can see here, right there, you can see where the uh, second layer starts. And if I go any further, there will be a third layer. You only want two layers. Get your scissors and you cut right at that line. Alright. Cool game roll, get back to the table here. So yeah, this is what you're looking at. As you can see you got the product wrapped wrapped in a pleat uh, all the way around twice. And then you're going to take your tape. It's going to be much easier with the tape gun. Um, if you plan on doing any kind of shipping seriously, you might as well go ahead and get one of these tape guns. It'll, it'll make a huge difference in time and effort after a period. And then you simply just, you see where the break is, where I cut it. You just start in the middle. edge, press it down, make sure your tape's good and good and flat, not raising up, not too wrinkled. And you're going to have to do that for the other side. Exact same method. Squeeze it down, apply the tape. Okay. Now the package is closed up. You just need to finish sealing the ends. And of course, when you print your label, you're gonna fix it here. Be the best spot to fix it. Um, I use four by six labels, but I'm out of labels. 
Uh, so you can use just regular printer paper and tape it on. And just use minimal tape to tape around the, the uh, label, make it stick to the package. The stickers are way better, but if you're just starting, uh, you're probably not going to want to put out the money to buy a sticker printer or 4x6 uh, thermal label printer. So, so it's okay to start regular printer paper. I'm not showing you all that part, just kind of showing you how to best way to package up a book safest way cheapest way so you're going to go to the end here and right at the edge you're going to do the same thing you did in the middle except it doesn't have to go the full length of the box because you're not sealing the seam in you're just uh you're just closing the the end so the same thing there Press, tape's pressed down, make sure you get the end sealed good. And you'll see a little gap there, and you can put a little piece of tape there to cover that after the fact if you want to. I do on some packages, depending on how big that gap is. So, do it the other side the exact same way. So, you're gonna have to do this for a uh, You have to do it for both sides on both ends. there's your package and, and like I say you can take your little pieces of tape tear off a little tiny little strip and cover these little gaps like say right there you just kind of cover it with a little piece of tape like you saw me do with the bigger strips just much smaller and that's a good measure so it's probably not necessary but that's just a good measure it's not taking much tape and it's not costing you very much money at all to, to do that for a customer just to cover the spaces. So I do that on every package. Only time I don't do it is if it's like like literally like a centimeter space, but anything more than that I'll cover it. And uh, this is the best way to send anything flat period I mean there's there's no uh, to me there's no argument for anything else I mean sealing it up in a box is gonna be way harder putting it in a, in a mailer or something soft is gonna have the book get uh, <clears throat> damaged during shipping there's gonna be a corner banged up or, or the spine banged up or something like that that's not gonna happen with this you know what I'm saying this is that's the best way you ship I could you know, to test this, I've, before I've slung like hard books across the house, sealed up like this, and it never damaged it. It might ding up the packaging a little bit, but the book itself is never damaged. Like this is the only way I say you should be shipping books. So, uh, if this helped you at all, hit like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. I'll be doing more uh, eBay-related videos probably. Um, I've been doing eBay for a couple of years, so there's probably quite a bit I can share with y'all. Um, but yeah, like I said, if it like, helped you, hit like, subscribe, notification bell. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace out.